Okay. Well, let's take a look at what Blizzard has in store for us. This came out today. The patch notes preview of 19th September for the PTR. And Zarya should be coming out in a week. So it should be a one week long uh, P PTR. I'll probably play a little bit today or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. I don't think the PTR is up yet. Anyway, I'll play some at the earliest uh, possibility. I'll just kind of try to see how everything works. But for now, let's take a look what's going to happen. Diablo and Murden will go... Actually, Diablo goes down in price, so Murden goes up. That's the first time ever price has gone up. Can't say that's a positive development. So obviously I don't like that because Merlin is kind of a quintessential warrior. Um, voiceover will now play. Chen has updated sound effects. Seasoned Marksman has a new sound effect when the active ability awarded by the quest is used. Okay. So when you activate the bonus attack speed for Seasoned Marksman, it will be giving you visual, uh, audio visual feedback. Seven heroes get changes. Just from seeing them, I would say Liming nerf, Nazibo buff, Karazim nerf, Malph buff, Chen change, ETC change, and Tychus change. That's what I think, but let's see. Beginning size has been reduced, maximum size has been reduced, and the explosion radius has been reduced. So Arcane Orb got nerfed really hard. I did just move Liming to uh, S tier. Uh, on my tier list and now this happens triumvirate will now reduce the cooldown by 50 percent instead of five seconds so that's it's from eight to three it was from eight to three now it's from eight to five travel distance uh requ required reduced so you only need to hit it at the last half Zay's Vengeance 7 now also reduces the cooldown to bring it to what? 2.5 total if you take both. Okay. We're, uh, are, we are unhappy with the unpredictable large explosion that happens at close range detonations. Yeah, I agree. While it looks like a nerf on paper, we actually felt they gave players tighter control with a lot less early detonations on unintended targets. So you should be able to fire it past the warrior without your collision hitting the warrior if you slightly aim it not towards them. Ah, yeah, yeah, 50% yeah. of 8 is 4 seconds, of course, of course. Tychus. More health, more regen, more bonus range if you take that E. No more Shrug It Off. Oh. So Shrug It Off was his 25% resistance on E. Everyone took it, so there was no other choice available. They then buff two of his other E's and remove that one. Hmm. So instead they give bonus health. And how much bonus health is this? Not much. What is this? 4%? But 4, 4.5%. And you lose 25% resistance. So it's pretty much a nerf to Tychus. I did predict it's a change and that's kind of true because it's a nerf to his must pick. And two buffs here. Um, I do think it's correct because people misuse this. First of all, it was really strong to stop the burst. And also people like bad Tychuses, they run a gun into the enemy all the time. That's still going to happen, I guess. I, I like the idea of having bonus range sometimes instead of uh, resistant. That's also a way of safety. Still pretty rip because I think... He's going to be so much easier to kill. Nazibo! Wow! 
Spiders will fixate on whatever enemies are hit with the jar. Spiders will only spawn if you spawn if you hit an enemy with the jar. Wow, that really removes some of the mindless spider throwing. Increases his skill requirement. Reduces the travel speed of the jar, mostly at close range. Shia. Okay. Bigger radius. Spiders move faster. Far less impact damage. Far higher bite, 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 bite damage. Less mana. Zombie health. More health. Toads. Three only. I thought this was going to happen already. Because he can chunk people with five. Now three with two charges. No more impact damage. Instead, time damage. So they're really pushing him into poison damage style. I don't know if I like or dislike this. I guess I didn't play Nazebo that much anymore, so it might be more fun and satisfying. Poison now is over 6 seconds. No more Voodoo Ritual against heroes. Wow. And then they embedded Blood Ritual. Ah, uh, well that's good. Now you don't need to pick that anymore. No, they removed my active bow build. <laughs> I had this build with Bribe, Promote, Gargantuan, Ice Block, Stone Skin or whatever there was. Gargantuan now stays near the area where cast and attempts to attack enemy enemies that come nearby. Initial impact. Stomp damage increase, attack range increase. I think this is most important. But the question is, when you stutter step as Nazebo, does Nazebo, does Gargantuan also stutter step? No more Demolitionist, Death Ritual, Bribe, Blood Ritual is at 4, which is a percentage base. Widowmaker. Oh wow, Nazebo got the full rework. I guess it was about time. He used to be my favorite, you know, I'm pretty high level on Nazebo. Like 14, 15? Quest, after hitting heroes 100 times with corpse spider attacks, increase in damage. Or, pandemic. 40 heroes with plague toads, 2 additional. Oh, cool. Removed everything! And give them nothing. Oh no, give them something. Hexed crawlers. Corpse spiders restore 3 quarter percent of your maximum health and mana each time they attack. Ah. Enemy hero only. So you cannot heal from minion waves anymore. Increase the health and mana bonus from Voodoo Ritual. Voodoo Ritual. No more Gidbin. No more fresh corpses. Wait, that leaves only two level 7 abilities. He had Gidbin, fresh corpses, and infested toads. Toad affinity, toad affinity. Unless they say somewhere move to 7. Okay, they say move to 7. Actually, they show it here, don't they? Widowmaker, Pandemic, Thing of the Deep. Wow, they brought the Thing of the Deep to 1. Hex Crawlers, Big Voodoo, Blood Ritual. Spirit of Arakir, Dead Rush, Toads of Hugeness. Guardian Toads, Superstition, Ice Block. Spider Colony, Ring of Poison, Soul Harvest. Humongoid, Annihilating Spirit, Fear of the Storm, and Vile Infection. I want to see that one. After reaching 150 stacks of Voodoo Ritual, increase Voodoo Ritual's damage by 200% and cause it to also apply to heroes. Okay. So what is this? Corpse Spiders recharge twice as fast if you're above certain health threshold. It's kind of like a spider specific hardened focus. Increase the duration of Wall of Zombies and deals lots of damage. Damage starts small and increases over the duration. Whatever that means. This is not a level 20 quest. This one can already have been completed by the time you get there. Activate to gain 3% ability power max health for every nearby enemy up to 15%. Health and ability power bonus last 15 seconds. They could 
They could afford to say the distance. Uh, dead rush. Increase zombie damage bonus from 50 to 100 percent. And still, they would they uproot after they finish. Okay. Range at level one. I don't. I, I don't think it's that good. But now you don't need to go for blood ritual anymore. <coughs> Death ritual. If your plague of toads explodes on an enemy hero, gain resistance for two seconds. Wow. That's kind of like the uh, cooldown fell flame talent. Except that one is 40% for two and a half seconds. It looks like this one... I mean, you have a, you have a base trait now. Where's the base trait? <laughs> Didn't they say they give him a new trait? The quest starts at this trait, at level 1. So if by level 20 you've reached 150... Like Voodoo Ritual, am I reading it right? Voodoo Ritual... Yeah. So by level 20, if you have your... Talent stacked... Then it'll work. <laughs> okay, Karazim. Block... Okay. Mouth. More Qs for cheaper, will last for longer, the heal will go down, so he'll be truly a healing fountain. Superstition is the craziest. Oh, you take 50% less damage from abilities, but 30% more from basic attacks. That's funny. That's really funny. Wow. I like it. I like it. Miss Superstition. <laughs> He's a mage killer. So he will just walk towards mages and throw animals in their face. And he just has to watch out for Jimmy. Jimmy Rayner. Increased range. This is really good changes. This is exactly what I was hoping they would they'd be doing to Mouth. Gradual regeneration for everybody all the time. I like it. They should remove life seed then though. Oh, they didn't. Let's see. A little bit less burst. No more trap talent. This was a trap talent. Moonburn was just better. This one is already embedded. Innervade now also gives basic ability cooldown reduction. Oh my god. That is gonna be sick. What are you going to combine that with? Wait a second. Imagine that on Cho Gaul. He has no mana, but can use both cooldowns faster. <laughs> Imagine Malf, Ariel, Cho Gaul, Abathur. Malf, Ariel, Chogal, Abathur. Wow. Giving mana to Chogal. <laughs> you can't innervate Chogal? No? Hmm. Chen. If all three spirits die, Chen is killed. Spirit health increased to 75%. Now also increases the movement speed of your spirits. Wow. Greetings, friend. Some Leap. grubby stream at my Slow. birthday evening. Feels good, man. Thank you, Real Krillax. Happy birthday. Happy Malfurion birthday. Increase the basic attack speed of your spirits by 100% for 5 seconds. Wow. No more regen master. Oh. <gasps> Lots of changes. Alright, this is the second rework for Chen. <clears throat> Let's see. I was just starting to fall in love with him again. Quests. 30%. Damage. Second charge. 60 bonus damage. And range increase. 
Oh no, they removed Consuming Flame! It was the highest win rate talent. Freshest ingredients. Man, I feel like there's so much to read. Setting hero on fire increases the damage up to 60% after getting bonus. Breath of Fire grants one second of resistance per hero set to fire. <laughs> wow. This is level one talent. Or, well, he has three different quests. Or three different talents. Gathering a regen globe increases health regen. Retained indefinitely after drinking 50% of shields. Nice. They gave him an infinite combat stance. That is so cool. So you can actually drink and then go into battle. Activate to avoid all enemy basic attacks for two seconds. So it's basically like swift reflexes, but better. Basic attacks also reduce the cooldown of elusive brawler by three seconds. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, this is a much more active way to dodge damage than swift reflexes. Flying kick now deals damage if Jen has shields. Wow, nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh yes, I hope they brought the, s the sound back for Ring of Fire. Why are you not playing? Because I need to see everything that changed in the PTR, man. So exciting. Refreshing elixir. Um, brew strike, enough to share is now 16. No more brew strike, it wasn't used anyway. No more relentless, too bad, man. Withering flames, setting an enemy hero on fire reduces their ability power by 25% for three seconds. Wow, that is awesome. And the ring of fire is huge damage. It's moved to level four. And it does 50 damage. Refreshing Elixir. All regen and healing effects are increased by 20%. This bonus is increased to 60% while channeling Fortifying Brew. Seems good. Seems really good. This is so sick. This, this is actually just insane. This is a new kind of peel that did not exist yet. Before, I'd be saying, okay, what does a warrior do? He disrupts, he protects his allies, he initiates, etc, etc. He can take damage. This one is actually removing damage from your team without doing anything with your team. You don't even have to block, you just put people on fire. And then they do less damage, which makes sense. Three seconds, that's huge. And you can do that how often? I don't see any basic ability cooldown changes. That's so so strong. So strong. What else is at 13? Move to level 13. So he gets pressure point at 13 now. And... Mic check! He gets ETC's ability. <laughs> no, just kidding. So... 13 is going to be a super hot tier for Chen. Boulder Flavor moves to 7. Full shield instantly. Wow. Wait. Causes shields to persist for 1 second after drinking? And he has a quest that causes shields to retain after drinking. Isn't this a kind of overlap? It looks like it is. Weird. Flying kick slows enemy movement speed for 40%. This effect is doubled if the target is affected by kick smash. Hmm. So you slow someone with the kick smash, then you kick them, they slow even more. It is, in theory, the first stacking of slows 
Before, slows did not stack. Nor does this one really, the way they phrased it. But when you think about it, it's like stacking slows. <clears throat> one sec 100%, then 50% forever after. Yeah, um... Not really, not if you just tap it once. If you tap it once, you get full shield. Wait, full shield? Yeah, 50% of your full shield instantly. So if you tap it just once and then move, you get full shield. And it lasts forever. With double overlap from this one on level 1. But obviously, if you keep drinking, you have a big shield for a second. And then after a second, you get the half shield value from your level 1 talent. <coughs> It feels a little bit like the overlap with, uh, what's it called, the Haka. He has the movement speed talent at 1, and then he gets another one at 13. It doesn't feel that good to have overlap, but I guess everything is going to be okay. Flying Leap increases the range of Flying Kick by 20%. Pretty cool. And another round. After hitting an enemy hero with Kick Smash, the cooldown of the next basic ability you cast will be reduced. That one is going to require testing. Untap potential, movement speed, and damage reduction. Nice. <coughs> Your spirits now have 100%. Also unstoppable. Reduces the cooldown of leap. No longer an active attack spell. <laughs> wow. No more hardened shield. So you need to go untapped if you want some shield. I think uh, Elemental Conduit and Storm Earth and Fire is going to be really interesting. No more Bolt, no more Hardened Shield, but instead Purifying Brew. Passively reduce duration of the next stun or silence by 75% and re reset the cooldown of Fortifying Brew. Yeah, nice. Bolt on Chen had no place, he was already so mobile. Is the PTR up yet? I don't think it is, right? Heal for 1.5% of your maximum health every time you, your basic abilities hit an enemy hero. Pretty cool. Let's see, you kick someone, you kick smash one person, and then you fire breath two people. That's a pretty... It's nice to see the changes. We'll test it out tomorrow. Uh, power slide range increased by 25%. Because I... I haven't played Heroes in a while, you know? Power Slide range increase, Rockstar radius increase... Rolling like a stone, block, progressive rock... Ah. We like ETC's core gameplay, but we wanted to improve his talent diversity. Many ETC players end up picking the same talents, especially at 1 and 4. We've streamlined his Q power and given him more options. Okay, that's good. I want to go through it a little bit faster because I feel like starting to play already. Rockstar gives allies some block charges. Okay, so the supportive quality of this warrior is going up. No more this one. Mic check, CD reduction. A lot of extra bonus damage. That makes sense, because it was bad. Okay. Yeah, no more just keep rocking. Level 16, echo pedal, move to seven. So he can split push again. Ah, he can split push again. That's gonna be the return of stage dive. For sure. Especially with the mount speed being 130% now. Echo paddle at 7. Bonus damage to minions marks. 64. So a bit better than it is now. And it reaches even earlier. No more groupies. Oh, Too bad. No more surrogate healer. It fixes quick match though. Alright. Um, let's do a rating for every changes. And then we go play some ranked. Li Ming gets Arcane Orb changes. They read like nerfs. Um, I think they are a bit of a nerf. It's good because she was really strong. And it seems to make sense their explanation. Tychus. 
he takes a hit. He was just going from tier 3 to tier 2, from tier 2 to, to, to tier 1. Hurts him a bit. He's still good, but you probably can't pick him second anymore. In uh... Oh, group is his baseline now? Cool. I didn't read that. I'll check it again later in detail. That's cool. Into a straight. Or his level 1. The Z bow changes are great. Karazim, not much changes. Mouth changes are great. Chen, great. ETC, probably great from what I read. I would say overall it's a really good patch. And I'm looking forward to playing it tomorrow.